on the guys right now. Need to get to the girls. <laughs> I got worried there for a second. I saw them all at the start finish. I was like, are they not going to bring them up to the barrel? To the stagger. There's only four lanes here. Colts Neck also had a great cross country season as they actually cracked into our top 25. Um, you know, in the country several times. So they definitely have some good guys. This is, that's a 5K in cross country. This is a 3K. So they definitely have the strength to do this. So watch out for those green signals in Colts Neck. We have three in this race from that school. You also want to watch out for the black and orange singlet with the neon shoes of Dalton Hanks. All right, here we go. This is the hot heat of the boys. 3K. Who do we got? We have Jordan Brennan, Jeremy Hoingrozer. Zaire Ahmad, Nick Dahl, Dalton Hanks, Anthony Russo, Sam Morton, Joey Defoe, Paul Casavant, George Steinhoff, Kevin Berry, Matt Walker, Brad DeMassa, Brendan Baltus, and Drew Thompson. That's a field of 15 runners, and it's going to be an excellent race as we have seed times in 826 is the fastest seed time there. Watch that Colts Neck runner who is currently in fourth. He has the fastest seed time. But Staples had a great cross-country season. Colts Neck as teams, those teams both had great cross-country seasons as they both cracked into our top 25 um, in the Flow 50 national rankings. So 5K in cross-country, this is a 3K. They definitely have the strength to do this. But we got to talk about the meat and the juice of this race because you have U.S. number one, Huynh Grover, going against U.S. number one, Dalton Hanks. Dalton Hanks is U.S. number one in the 3200. And Hoyne Grover is number one in the 3K, this event that they're racing right here, right now. 68 seconds, the opening 400. I was hoping for something a little bit faster than that. Our leader, Ahmad of Staples, the senior, PR 412 in the mile. But I think that 68 is rather pedestrian for such a talented field. Yeah, if you want to go for the U.S. number one mark, that is 832 by, like I said, Hoyne Grover is uh, you gotta go a little faster than that, I believe. Hanks is sitting back, actually. He's actually in sixth place, I think, right now. Like I said, in that black and orange singlet, he's US number one in the 32. Foot Locker finalist. He actually is in the top 10 in several events. So Ahmad, our leader. Brennan in second. Dahl and Hoyne Grossmanner. They're all right there. Almost uh, a fall in the middle of the pack. Like I said, we're starting to get bunched up. And like I said before, it was a little bit slower than I had hoped for the opening 400. At some point, someone's going to have to go if they really want to chase any of the, uh, the meet record uh, or U.S. number ones. Hanks is looking smooth, and you see him. He moved up to second. 219, 219 through that mark there. And the time to beat so far, 8.44 from the previous section. I think, I hope they definitely hit that. All, almost everyone in here is seated faster than that. So they definitely have the potential. But like you said, they're going out pretty slow. Coming up on the main straightaway, we'll have 1,000 meters completed. And that in 2.53 mid. That's Zach, or Zaire Ahmed. Staples, he's leading the way there. And that's Jeremy Hoynes Grover in second and Dalton Hanks is in third. Those are the three guys you want to watch out for. But like I said, Colts Neck had a great season, so any of those guys could come and strike at any moment. But you see them all looking around. They're all kind of questioning. Who's going to take this out? Who's going to do it? No one wants to take out the pace, and that, that concerns me a little bit because if you're going for a fast time, a U.S. number one mark, you got to make the moves. you got to have the, the guts to do it. 1,200 meters, 3 minutes and 30 seconds, so we've slowed, slowed just a little bit. Ooh, and Hanks is just tucked in there. He's not even looking to get on the outside. Um, looks like a Colts neck right there is making the move in the green singlet on the back stretch. Oh, he's going all the way from fourth to second, is he going to get? No, gets, gets put in third as they cross the turn. Zaire Ahmed still leading the way, doing a lot of the work last couple of laps here. That may come in to not be in his favor later on. Trying to take it gun to tape. Dalton Hanks drops to fourth. 
Dalton Higgs is, uh, has a bunch of national leading marks right now as he is, I believe, in the top 10 with a 155 in the 800. He's also in the top 10 with a 418 in the mile, but he's U.S. number one in the 3200. And he did that against no one. So some guys were saying that 921 isn't a very fast U.S. number one. And I'd agree with that, but he did it all alone. Beat everyone by big, big mark. There we go. Well, he's taking, taking the bait. Comes through the 1600 in just under four minutes and 40 seconds. 439.3 unofficially. And now the pace has picked up. Woo-hoo! He must have heard us talking about him. He heard us talking that crap. He said, no way. I didn't come here for this. Down that back straightaway, you could see that he checked his shoulder, making sure that those runners were going with him. Or perhaps looking across the track at his coach, giving some splits. Main straightaway now. Hengst is our leader. They're all the way out in almost lane three there. Jordan Brennan. That's Nick Dahl moving to second place. Also going with Jordan Brennan. Jordan Brennan's making moves on the turn, it looks like, but he's been floating in that outside of lane one, lane two, almost the whole race. Is he going to make the pass? No. Dalton Hanks still working. Looks like he's still not. They're all just sitting on everyone. I was, I was shocked that Hanks had gone to the front as early as he did with that 155 speed. If he wants to run just for the win, I figured he'd be tucked back. Uh, I don't think you come here to win, though. It's no, a you want to run fast, on a yeah. a nice indoor track, you want to you run fast. 547. We have six boys in that lead pack that it looks like the rest are starting to fade back just a little bit as they pick up the pace. 1,000 meters to go on that back straightaway. Hank Star leader. Jordan Brennan. The tall figure, the senior from Colts Neck, now committing to pacing duties as he goes to the front. It looks like that young man from Staples, Ahmed, is still hanging in there after doing a majority of the work the first couple laps. 6.21 on the clock. Jordan Brennan looking, looking good. Hanks has been, bought, he's been he's hugging that curve the whole entire race. Brennan looks very comfortable and very strong, real nice and smooth as he makes his way down that back straightaway, leading now four runners in that chase pack, that lead pack. If you ask me, I think this is right where Hanks wants to go. The pace is faster now, and like you said, he has 155 speed. So if he just hangs on here, hopefully he can outkick these guys. 6.54. You can never doubt Dalton Hanks, though. He has a lot of experience. Like I said, Foot Locker finalist. Bunch of U.S. top tens right now. U.S. number one in the 3200. And there he is, making his move to second right when he needs to. Let's see if he'll sit. Oh, all the way to first. Dalton Hanks past Brennan. He's in first. Coming up on two laps to go. 400 meters remain when they come across this line. Hanks checks his shoulder one more time. Almost a perfect time for him to make that move with his speed that we know. 727 with 400 meters to go. That's Hanks. Dahl. Brennan and Ahmed. Dahl was sixth here last year where we ran 822. We had two runners under the old meet record, that 822 meet record from Connor Lundy. And look at here we go. Hanks picking oh, it up, picking accelerating it up. away from a very talented field now on the main straightaway. Checks his shoulder one more time. He's going to hear the bell with 200 to go. 758. Here we go, Dalton Hanks opening up. He's got the magic in those brand new shoes. He really is tearing it up. That 155 speed is coming to work as you see him dropping the rest of the field. He, he had a smart game plan. He sat with that lead group the whole entire time, led a couple laps there in the middle, and he knew he was faster than anyone with a foot speed, so he decided to open it up. Dalton Hanks looking over his shoulder here. Well clear of the field as he checks one more time. And this is going to be U.S. number one. <laughs> there we go. There we go. He gives us points up at the booth here. Dalton Hanks, U.S. number one. Absolutely wonderful. Hey, you pay for the whole seat, but you're only going to need the edge here, baby. We're going to call him up here in the booth and get an interview shortly. What a run for the young kid. Like we said, Foot Locker finalist, number one in the 3,200 meter, and now number one in that 3K.
We're going to get some interviews here, and we'll check back with you soon. What do we have next, Steve? Let me look here. We're